Beneath Yellowstone's stunning surface lies a hyperactive seismic world. Researchers have discovered more than 86,000 earthquakes, 10 times more than previously known, revealing chaotic seismic movement along young, rugged fault lines. With this new insight, we are closer to deciphering the Earth's volcanic heartbeat and improving our ability to predict and manage volcanic and geothermal hazards. Yellowstone was the first national park in the United States, and beneath it lies one of the most seismically active networks of volcanic activity on Earth. In a new study, Western engineering professor Bing Li and colleagues at the Universidad Industrial de Santander in Colombia and the United States Geological Survey used machine learning to re-examine historical earthquake data from the Yellowstone. Caldera, over 15 years. A caldera in Yellowstone National Park, which stretches across parts of Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana, is a significant depression or basin formed when a volcano erupts. The underlying magma chamber empties, causing the landmass above it to collapse. This differs from volcanic craters, which are formed by external explosions. The historical catalog for the Yellowstone caldera now contains 86,276 earthquakes from 2008 to 2025, significantly improving our understanding of the volcanic and seismic system through better data collection and systematic analysis. A key finding of the study is that more than half of the earthquakes recorded at Yellowstone are part of earthquake clusters, groups of small interconnected earthquakes that propagate and shift over a relatively small area over a relatively short period. This differs from aftershocks, minor earthquakes that occur after a larger main shock in the same area. While Yellowstone and other volcanoes each have unique characteristics, the hope is that these insights can be applied elsewhere, said Lee, an expert in fluid-induced earthquakes and rock mechanics. By understanding seismic patterns, we can improve safety measures, better inform the public about potential risks from earthquakes, and even guide geothermal energy development to avoid hazards in areas with promising heat flow Before the application of machine learning, earthquakes were generally detected through manual inspections by trained experts. This time-consuming process often detects fewer events than is now possible with machine learning. The study also showed that earthquake swarms beneath the Yellowstone caldera occur along relatively immature and more rugged fault structures compared to the more mature fault structures more commonly seen in regions like Southern California and even just outside the caldera. Ruggedness is measured by characterizing earthquakes as fractals, meaning they appear similar at different scales. If we had to do it the old-fashioned way, with manually clicking through all this data to find earthquakes, you couldn't do it, Lee said. Fractal-based models, which target roughness rather than regularity, were able to characterize these earthquake swarms. Researchers believe they are caused by a mix of slow-moving underground water and sudden bursts of fluid.
To a large extent, there hasn't been a systematic understanding of how one earthquake triggers another within an earthquake swarm. We can only measure the space and time between events indirectly. But now, we have a much more complete catalog of seismic activity beneath the Yellowstone caldera. We can apply statistical methods to measure and find new earthquake swarms we've never seen before, and see what we can learn from them.